in version 15.9 and below, the meets always auto-joined, and that caused a lot of problems for some users. Now that auto-join is a configurable item. You can see it right here in the settings. I also want to explain how the auto-join is further limited. Right off the bat, auto-join is only relevant, will only be eligible for links that are listed here. So I'll use the word scope. So auto join is scoped, <clears throat> only relevant for links that are listed in your rooms tab here. If it's a meet that is not here, then regardless of what you put on this extension settings, it will not auto join. And that's what uh, people want uh, based on my feedback. <clears throat> so let me show you how that works in 16.0. So you'd say meet Google com.com and then you would say I'm going to create a new meeting and here's my nickname I'm going to say hello in the past 15.9 and below this would automatically join and it would not stop at this point that caused problems for a lot of people now I, I don't auto join any meet unless it's listed here. But you can even further limit the auto join by the configuration settings. So the first step is asking, this, the extension will ask, is this meet right here in my list of rooms? If it's not, it, it will not auto join. If it is, let me just do a triple click uh, uh, on that. If it is, it may join or may not, depending on this setting. Okay, so I'll turn that off. It did not join. But if I turn this setting on, I check it, and I refresh as if I'm entering it uh, anew again. There you go. It automatically joins. <clears throat> so th that's, uh, I think, a, a big improvement for a lot of users. I uh, had one user say that this was such a big deal they could not use the extension. So I, I want to make sure that uh, you guys know that this is uh, available and uh, you should not have any problems with brand new meets automatically joining and if you uh, so let, let me give you one example of how this works in just operating your classes so let's look at this setting here both of these are checked we will run it and since I checked both of them and all these links here are defined and known to the extension. They're all within the scope of the extension. They all will be auto-joined. Uh, they're all eligible for auto-join. And we check the box that we do want auto-join. So this demo I did right here, uh, you would say, well, I don't see any difference. And that's right. You don't see any difference. But let's look at this. I'll take that off. And... Now we should expect that when we run it, the main will not auto join, but the breakouts will. <clears throat> so that might be a business case for, for some users. They would say, you know, the main room special. I don't want to open that one up yet. Uh, nobody knows about the breakout rooms anyway, so maybe you feel it's okay to open those up. Uh, or you will open those up later on and you don't want to have to go to every single one of those breakout rooms and say, join, 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 join. But you can do that, and I'll show you. You would go to this setting here. If you said, I don't want to ever auto-join anything, then you would take both of those off. And then you'll go here, and you'll run it. The rooms will... Uh, the window will open, but you won't auto-join. You won't join it in, unless you click.
click the button to join. All right. So it's up to you. You have the control and it's a configurable item. Uh, play around with it and see what works for you. I think that you have the flexibility to do things the way you want to. And you won't be bothered with an auto join on a meet that you, brand, you create and you don't want to have uh, the extension reach into it and open it for you, uh, join it for you. All right. Thanks a lot.